war never changes, but as our tools of destruction advance, so did our tools for saving life. In 1940, one of the most important of these tools came from an African-American man from a racially segregated Washington, D.C. Nazi Germany was engaged in a prolonged bombing campaign of the British mainland. Britain was in desperate need of donated blood, but with British infrastructure in ruins, they needed to turn elsewhere for aid. The American Red Cross answered that call, but with over 4,000 miles standing between America and Britain, a new problem arose, getting the blood overseas without it spoiling. To solve this problem, the Red Cross turned to Charles Drew. Despite Drew being an African American during the height of racial discrimination in America, his expertise in the field of blood research could not be denied. He was asked to lead the Blood for Britain project, the world's first large-scale blood drive. Drew set the standard for separation of blood plasma, allowing it to be transported overseas for use. Thousands of British lives were saved because of Drew and his revolutionary methods. The Red Cross came to Drew again once the U.S. became involved in the war. Drew built on what he learned during the Blood for Britain program and made it better. He even invented the world's first blood mobile. Ironically, the armed forces initially barred Drew from donating blood to the program that he himself created, all because of his race. Drew fought against the policy, saying, One can say quite truthfully that on the battlefields, nobody is very interested in where the plasma comes from. His legacy as the father of the blood bank and the man who helped save millions of service members' lives survives to this day.